In this video, we'll take a quick look at the Fastener Spot Weld modeling capability now supported by FEMAP 9.1 and based on the Sea Weld capability in NX Nastran. The Sea Weld is an element and, like any other element, requires connectivity and a property definition. We'll come to the connectivity in a minute, but right now let's create a weld property. You can do this either through the usual model property menu or by right clicking on properties here in the model info tree. If we select new, we come up with uh, a an, an property definition. It's not the right one, so let's get the whole list of all the property definitions available. And you'll see a couple of new things here, one of them being weld. Let's select weld and click OK. And we get the weld element type property definition dialog box. So we'll just enter a title, weld property, enter a diameter, let's say 5 millimeters. enter the fact that it is a spot weld, and click OK. And that's all we need to do to set up um, uh, a weld defi uh, property definition. Now let's take a look at connectivity. First of all, there is a patch-to-patch -patch method. This is based on element vertices or a group of nodes. Then there is point-to-patch and also point-to-point. -point. Okay, well let's go on and create uh, a couple of these weld elements. First of all, let's zoom up on one of these models here. You notice this model has um, a matching mesh. Uh, this is the one we're going to use for the point-to-point -point method. Okay, so if we go into model elements, we can start to create some of these weld elements here. And uh, the first method we're going to select is element vertex to element vertex. And here we're prompted for two nodes. Let's select the node there and the one underneath it. We'll pick up on the property, weld property here. Select OK and the weld appears. And we can carry on. We select another node and the one underneath it and so on. So we see we can create a couple of weld elements fairly easily just connecting nodes to nodes. Okay, and we'll go over to the neighboring model now and similar thing, let's zoom up. This time the meshes are not the same uh, but that's not a problem. We can still create node um, weld elements uh, just as easily. Let's go into element here and we'll select a slightly different method now. We'll element element vertex and here we're prompted for an element ID and a node ID. Again we're picking up on the, the weld property so let's um, look at this fairly carefully and uh, let's select that element at the top and that node underneath. Click OK and here we get the node connected via the spot weld to the element above it. Let's do that again. Let's just go over Let's say to this one here, click that one and the node underneath, click OK, and again we get another weld element uh, created. And that's it. And so you can see that Sea Weld support in FEMAP 9.1 using the functionality in NX Nastran is very straightforward to use, quite powerful as it realistically can stitch together uh, different models very quickly and very easily.